Hey everyone, in today's iMovie video, I wanna show you how to add music to any iMovie project. So if you edit your projects using iMovie and you wanna learn how to add music the right way to your video, this is the right video for you. And with music, you could do a lot. iMovie is actually pretty advanced where it comes to some of the settings that you have with music. For example, you could easily lower the volume of music if someone is talking and make that background music. And then when there is no talking, you could bring that up and it has key framings and some advanced settings too that I wanna show you in this quick video. And this is part of my iMovie course that I created specifically for beginners in mind all the way to advanced. So everything iMovie has to offer in a very linear way in one course from 15 years of editing experience. I wanted to make it really simple. So I'll put a link in the description to that course. It launched just this week. So you can go ahead and check it out and get the best deal. And with music, I should mention that there is something known as copyright and you can't just use any song in any video. For example, if you're going to YouTube and if you do that, you actually get a YouTube strike and they may remove that video altogether. So what you want to do is use what's called royalty free music. I'll explain more throughout this video, but with royalty free music, you don't have to worry about that. So if you're going on YouTube or you're making projects for other clients, that's what you should use. Now, if you're using this for a family video or a home movie, it doesn't matter all that much, but for things that are going to be shown to other people, it really matters to find royalty free music. I'll show you some resources. Right now, let's jump in. I wanna show you how to add music to any iMovie project. So here I am inside of iMovie and I have my full edited video down here and it's ready for music. So I could just go ahead and bring music and add it to my project. And right now I'm on my media tab and I could bring the music right over here next to all the different clips I have over here and my voiceover. But I don't know where to get music from just yet because I'm going on YouTube and I want to make sure I don't have any issues with using music that I don't have permission to use. So let me show you a couple of ways to get music without any copyright issues. Let me go back here online and one place is if I'm going to YouTube, I could use just a YouTube audio library. Now I'll put a link to this in the description below it brings you to this page where you could press play listen to any music and if you like it just press download here and it goes to your download folder on your computer and we could import it from there now this is very very limited but it's totally free so if you're just starting out this may be a good place to go another option which i highly recommend is Envato elements again i'll put a link to this in the description below and over here you just click on music now you pay a monthly price for this but you get access to so much more music than any other place and it's completely royalty free and you could go ahead and search by so many different filters here so as you can see right now 25,000 music tracks to choose from you could choose vocals no vocals you could change the tempo here so i'm searching by upbeat and he shows all this music i press play if i like what i hear i press download but Envato Element is just not music. It's everything. Video templates, stock video, graphics, all for one price. So I highly recommend this. You could check it out more. Link in the description below. So I already went ahead, pressed play on one of these, and I pressed download. It's in my download folder already. So let me go back to iMovie to import it. And all you have to do is, in order to import anything, just press this upload option, this arrow, import video. And it's gonna open this up and mine is in the download folder. So I'll go ahead and find it in my download and I'll press import selected. And it imported it right here, so right towards the top. So make sure you find it somewhere over here. If you're not going to YouTube or if you're not using this for professional purposes, you could also come to the audio tab over here and just use iTunes. But again, just make sure this is completely for personal use if you're using music right here that's already in your music library here on your Mac. But if you go this route and use music from your music library or your iTunes, you can use that edited video in any other way besides complete personal use. So I'll go back to the media tab here and I'm going to drag this song here and I wanna bring it all the way down here. So you can put it right here but I wanna bring it where this little music icon is down here, all the way down here. It gives me a little bit better control and puts it in a different track than this track on top. So that's where I wanna put it all the way down here. And I'll put it right in the beginning. So it starts in the very beginning of my video and stretches all the way over here. Now I could grab the end of it too and stretch it out to match 
my entire length of my video. And if I needed to, I could always copy and paste it again if it didn't time out here. So if my video was longer and this music needed to be longer, I could go ahead and duplicate it here to stretch it out. So now let me go back over here. I'll explain to you what to do if someone is talking during the video. But if it was just footage playing like this, I could press play. There we go. Now we have music going with our video. Couple of things before you're done here. You should always fade music in and you should always fade music out. In order to do that, you could just grab this little dot right here in the beginning and the end and it fades in the audio. So if you click and drag it, you could fade in the audio for a couple of seconds or longer, maybe two, three seconds here. And you could do the same thing with the fade out. As soon as your cursor turns into these two arrows, you could drag and click and do a two second fade and it will fade like this. And let's go in the beginning and let's see what that sounds like. It's nicely fading in. Now, besides fading in and out, you may have an issue where someone is talking and your music is playing. So what do we do in that case? Let me double click this audio file and it's gonna open this section right here for me. I could go ahead and adjust the audio volume. So it's at 100%. I could lower it all the way to, let's say 30%. You could see, it lowered the audio. So now if I go back to the beginning and press play. Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up an Apple Watch 4 for the very first time. It's still pretty loud, so I would need to either raise the volume of my voice here or lower the music a little bit more. I could always double click the vocals too, so the audio here of me speaking, and I could double click it and up here, click lower volume of other clips. And as you could see, it dropped the music down way down. So now it's a lot easier to hear me in today's video, I wanted to show you how to without hearing the music. So if I raise the volume here, which you could also do with this bar going down and up. Or this one has just a sportier wristband. And I just have it really low right now, but you get the idea. It will dip down the music here and I could go ahead and press reset here to bring everything back. So that's the way you work with music. If you have someone talking, if you don't have someone talking, you could just leave it at the 100% mark. And the last thing I'll show you is you could select R on your keyboard and with R holding it down, you can make a selection of your music. So from this, if I let go, I could lower the music here only to let's say 10% and it nicely fades it out for me after I'm done talking and it will fade it in to my talking. So you could always do this with holding down R underneath any type of vocals, dialogue, voiceover, and fade down the music this way. So multiple different ways to do it. When there's vocals, when there's no vocals, you just drop the music here, fade it in and out, and you're all set. Now you could go ahead and go to file and share and go ahead and save it to YouTube or as a file if you're going somewhere else. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I have some more resources, as I mentioned, in the description below this video that I think you'll find useful. Please give this a thumbs up, and I hope to catch you on the next video.